This episode, we're gonna try and get alcohol out of water. Watermelon. Shut up, bird! So I'm gonna throw it up. Can you get alcohol? Out of watermelon. <laughs> wow, this is already covered in bugs. <laughs> oh, good God. Ah! Get, get out of, get out of. Attention! Together, we will hunt the enemy, we will kill the enemy, and God willing, we will feast up on the enemy's entrails, boil its blood, and wear its ass as a hat. But before we throw ourselves into the heat of battle, we must make sure we are well rested on our Helix mattresses. Choose your weapon, banana. If you haven't heard yet, Helix Sleep is premium mattresses customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped directly to your door. But that starts with you taking oh. Helix's sleep quiz to make sure you get matched up with the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preferences. Juicy. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I think it's been in a hot shed for a minute. Melon? Oh, yeah. So they hooked me up with the Sunset Lux, and it has been great. We've been using it for probably going on like a year now. So you're gonna get that mattress shipped directly to your door for free. It comes rolled up in a box. This is really cool. You unroll the mattress, and then you do the thing that goes boom. What? Oh. <laughs> now you have a hundred night sleep trial to test out the mattress and make sure that you absolutely love it. If it's not the perfect mattress for you, you're gonna get 100% of your money back and you're gonna come pick up the mattress for free. So with a 10 year warranty, you know the quality is there. With flexible financing options, you can get hooked up with pretty much the perfect mattress for you. To do it, you need to go to helixsleep.com slash whiskey. You're gonna get up to $200 off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Out of curiosity, sir, why did we want to hunt, consume, kill, and asshat our enemy? That is an excellent question, Lieutenant Banana. And the answer is, my mama hates watermelon. <laughs> it's time for a viability test. For the bulk of the project, we're gonna be using Coco Joy Natural Watermelon Juice. It's all natural, no preservatives, not from concentrate. Let's get it rolling with our yeast. And if this works, we're gonna go through a lot of these cans. Oh yeah. We'll seal it up and we'll be able to tell pretty quick if this is giving us what we want. A lot of activity, a lot of bubbles, a lot of fermentation. Do you know how furries dress the way they feel on the inside? I think this is Brianna's version of a furry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what part of the process are we in now? Viability test. Right, so we tested the fermentation. We dropped some yeast in here. Yes. She's so strong. <sighs> Fermented watermelon juice. I think it's probably just gonna smell like, oh, oh, ah. Uh, uh, watermelon kombucha. Oh, eh, ooh. It lost that sweetness, it's got the rindiness. Yeah. Even though we didn't put the rind in there. It's actually not bad. It's kinda good. I can taste the watermelon. Ooh. In the air. Oh! Yeah, right? Dude! It's kinda good. That's nice. Yeah. It's Yeast. not even like super fermenty. I think no, that's yeah, gonna yeah. be. So that's what we're gonna distill. Amazing. All right, Brianna, we have prepared our ingredients. First step is to, well, do we measure it first? Sure. Okay. So with the specific gravity of watermelon. Okay. What are we working with? All right. Just Dip it. Burp. Sure. 1.021. Specific gravity that's telling us the sugar, why is sugar important? Um, because the sugar is necessary for it to ferment. Rather than go through a tremendous amount of watermelons, we're gonna use natural watermelon juice. And I don't think there's sugar added. Is there sugar added? Two grams cane sugar, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna fill the rest. Maybe. That tastes exactly like watermelon. We got a lot of cans to go through, by the way. Oh, yeah. You know my mom. Do you think we could get my mom on camera? Maybe. Call mom on speakerphone. Hello, what are you doing? I am comparing airlines 
to Hawaii. You have a good life. I'm about to make your life better. So you know your most hated food in the world? Watermelon? Yep. What if I finally fixed watermelon for you? Would you try it? I have heard so many people say that. Yes, I will always try it. And then what if we just wanted to record your reaction to the thing that I fixed for you? I'd say you have to schedule that with me. Oh, done. <laughs> nice. We'll schedule it. Yay! That was so easy. You're gonna be so glad you had me. <laughs> no. <laughs> if I squeeze this, how high do you think it's gonna go? Maybe oh. this high. Tops. Come on. Come on, what do you think? It's gravity. You doubt my raw power? Yes. If I get your hand wet, All right. you eat this banana. Okay, it can't just be a couple specks get my no, hand no, wet, though. It's no, gotta no. be like blast stream. So we have all of the watermelon juice. Is that a subtle clap you just tried to do? <laughs> <laughs> Does it count? We have all of the watermelon juice and the watermelon chunkage in here. Next, we need to add the yeast. Hydrated yeast this is daddy yeast. It's gonna go through and hopefully turn all of these sugars into ethanol. We're gonna figure out what our alcohol by volume is gonna be, but first we need the yeast to do that. Go ahead and drop it in. You got it, look at that, look at that. All right, so we got the yeast in there. About how long are we thinking for this to ferment and hopefully give us ethanol? Probably about a week. All right, we're gonna check back in a week. Go Team Melons! Go Team Melons! Oh my God, dude, why is so hot? That was really hot. So if you were an ant's wet dream for the Capri Sun. I feel like an ant's wet dream. Mm -hmm. Whose wet dream are you now? Hummingbird. Hummingbird would just destroy that ass. I like hummingbirds. You better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Oh. That's, oh, God. That doesn't, it smells more aggressive than the, <laughs> the viability test in the jar. Oh, you're getting in there. Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely some chunkage. Oh, this looks like you butchered a person. <laughs> <laughs> and they were full of seeds. Yeah. <laughs> the only difference between this viability test, this and this is the meat. It smells sweaty. Get in oh! <laughs> Don't, don't really. Get, 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 get out of, get out of the. <laughs> oh my God. That looks like Here, I'll the try. uvula of yeah. an animal. Oh, that smell. Once again, the smell is worse. Okay, yeah, you're right. The smell is worse than it tastes. We're gonna check the specific gravity to see how much potential we have to get distally coming out of here. I was, this I was you. thought this was gonna be really good. Now I'm not so sure. So this right here is about five and a half percent alcohol. Now to remind everybody the way this works is, first we do small scale experiments just to see what it turns into. Best case scenario, something's amazing and we scale it up to our real still, the right. Abe still, yeah. Yes. That's what you said. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yes. So we're gonna put this in the small still here, and if it turns out delicious, then we're gonna put it in the big still right behind Alex and make bigger experiments. <laughs> <laughs> we're dumping the chunkage in because Kyle's convinced it won't burn. You can see the yeasty slurry on the bottom. Yeast cake, yeah. So at this point, we've done the stripping run off of the uh, Minnetonka still, and we're gonna do the spirit run through the smaller still. The goal with these experiments is, is the finished spirit carrying with it the recognizable flavor of the original ingredient. So hopefully by the time it comes off of here, we can find something resembling watermelon, but we'll see. I'm gonna get out of here before we have a chance to smell it, because yeah, I wanna do that fresh with banana. Give me a clap. No! What'd you do? I won, is what happened. We have a special guest. My mom. 
Say hello to my mom, everybody, in the comments. Hello, mom, hi, hi. On a scale of one to 10, how much do you not enjoy watermelon? Oh, if they bring me a fruit cup. Yeah. And there's watermelon in it. Yeah. You burn the restaurant down. <laughs> <laughs> so you grew up on uh, a farm. They, they had watermelons growing in the back. We had the best watermelons in town. Yeah. We had but... watermelon parties. Did you know that? <laughs> Despite you? <laughs> no. Do you feel confident at this point in your life you have experienced the best watermelon has to offer and it fell short yes. of any kind of enjoyment? Yes. Well, and I appreciate you, but you're not fixing watermelon. Oh, I fixed the hell of it. I fixed <gasps> the hell of it. Do you know what we did, first of all? We took watermelon and we turned it into alcohol. Of course you did. <laughs> This is from watermelon. The ingredient is watermelon. Mm -hmm. Watermelon that fermented turned into alcohol. We ran the alcohol through a still. We created a spirit from watermelon. So it was coming off the still. That's 141 proof. Is that a lot, Manly? Okay. <laughs> it's not that much. Why? So when you're aiming for the flavor, you want to proof it down a little bit. This is only 100 proof. Which is nothing. It'll be fine. What? <laughs> This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna rip the Band-Aid off. Yes. Just rip it right off. Yeah, wake you up. We haven't smelled it, we haven't tasted it, we were waiting for you. So that's your glass. Give it a little swirl, and then on the nose, three, two, here. one, go. Okay. Huh. That is. You get like a buttered popcorn? Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's got a little bit of fruitiness in there, but it doesn't smell like watermelon. What do you smell? Chemicals? Yep. <laughs> Ethanol is a chemical. Yes. That's what I smell. <laughs> yes. I keep getting I like a buttery the, popcorn. The butter, yeah. Yeah, the butter and the popcorn. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. So how often do you uh, partake of alcoholic beverages? Wine. I okay. drink wine. Yeah. But I've never had whiskey. Oh yeah. I had vodka yesterday with our yeah the New cocktail Orleans. cocktail yeah that was wedding good. Wedding cake martini. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is not that. <laughs> no. The question is, is this? A lateral move for watermelon, or is it an improvement, or is it worse? Uh, Ready? You want me to Cheers. drink it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, good God. Oh! No. <laughs> no. Hi. No. <laughs> no? No. Is it the proof is too high? Proof is too high. That's gotta be it. This is probably a little bit My too high. My eyes are watering. <laughs> <laughs> On the finish, I do get some watermelon. Yes. But it, it, it takes all the way up to the finish. It, yeah, it, you don't get it until it's very, it's gone. Yeah. Are you finding anything recognizable mm. in terms of your mortal enemy <laughs> watermelon? It's down there underneath the burn somewhere. Okay. Mm. It's under the burn. Yeah. yeah. So after you get into the finish, <laughs> so, so the goal. <laughs> <laughs> so you're finding some flavor you don't like. Oh, definitely, okay. yes. We're gonna take it down to 100 proof here. This is 50% alcohol. Are you excited? <laughs> yes. I'm excited. No, we've been waiting like a week and a half for this. Yeah. yeah. On the nose, what are you smelling? The nose is kind of funky. Can yeah. I have the side by side? So what's the difference? I don't know, they're pretty similar, although the higher proof actually kind of smells sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. It did lose some sweetness, at least on the nose. Do you want to try it again? No. Please. You sure? No. You sure? No. <laughs> okay. okay. You ready? Mm. I'm looking for watermelon. The higher proof had more, mm. more watermelon flavor. Yeah. But it makes the rind taste come in more yes. than the watermelon. So the best I can tell, whenever you're experiencing watermelon, you only taste the rind. Anybody that's had watermelon, you taste what the rind is like. It's kind of cucumbery, but that's the only it's flavor the only you flavor get I pick up. in and any watermelon. One of my sisters has the same yeah. reaction. Yeah. Oh. So I'm not making it up, I promise. <laughs> I've had cough syrup that tastes better than this. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, I apologize because I know you work so hard. I worked Kyle to death on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we made you. Mm. It is a daiquiri with the watermelon spirit. And you don't even do daiquiris. You're not a cocktail person. Maybe this, this will fixed. finally find the vengeance you seek upon yes. your mortal enemy known Have as you had this? watermelon. No. She made it. I she made it. it. Yeah. It's a watermelon spirit daiquiri. What do we got? That's good. Oh, yeah? Nice. We did it. We fixed it. Yeah. Good. What'd you do? Put watermelon in it. <laughs> <laughs>